Hey, good morning, folks. May 22nd, day two of Bad Monkey Touring Pyrene Pico Tour 2019. It's 8 37 in the morning, 11 and a half degrees centigrade. Very fresh and comfortable. And we are leaving the town of Betrin, heading to Bilbao. Five hours, 47 minutes en route. And should be some really great riding today. Hard to beat yesterday though. Man, it was really good. gassed up and on the road we're on the N230 for 33 kilometers and picking up the famous N260 uh, and I tell you so far that N260 has been very rewarding there's the town see you later beautiful place. I think it's known for skiing, but I don't see any ski uh, area immediately here. Oh, day two. I'm glad it's day two. We've got so much more riding to do. till June 2nd so should be really cool I hate to see but uh, Rob and Erwin are going to be leaving I think on the 26th or 25th and I believe uh, Otto and Andrew have to leave a little bit early on the 26th Maybe 27. One day after, uh, auto, um, one day after uh, Irwin and Rob. So it'll just be myself and Angus, Sergey, Aziz, and Jeff. We're already planning next year's trip. There's some discussion about U.S. and there's some discussion about the Baltics. Not sure yet. We'll see what the general consensus is. Well, it's gotten down to seven and a half degrees over here on this side of the mountain. But look at this beautiful lake. Wow. We're now in the Aragon district. We were in Catalonia. And now we're in the Aragon district of Spain. And it is stunning. one today.
also think we'll make a coffee break at 11. Lunch around 1. better than sun at your back riding on a beautiful day no clouds got your buddies with you scenery is just amazing as I was saying to Rob we were talking back uh, at the gas station there you know this is living nothing like it If you're watching yesterday's video, episode one, I had the hyper smooth stabilization on on the Hero 7. And it was weird because it tended to give sort of like a wavy motion. And I know for a fact that my head wasn't bobbing up and down. I'm staying pretty steady but it just looked weird. And I apologize for having it turned up too high in the sky. Uh, I thought it was uh, just the amount, right amount. It was weird with the GoPro, you, it's, it tends to shoot downward. So you have to uh, angle the camera back more than what would look normal. And also mount it on top of the helmet, you know, with the helmet sitting on the table, it's quite different than it is when it's sitting you know, on your head and you're sitting on the bike. Even though I do get on the bike and try to angle the camera in the proper uh, amount of tilt to get the maximum view because I want to get a lot of the road, but I don't want to miss out on the sky and the horizon and the mountains and things around us. Back on the N260 and uh, riding towards Castellón de Sos. Got about 9.4 clicks on this road. But look at this scenery ahead. It is amazing. I got Jeff on intercom listening in. I don't know. Unfortunately, I haven't figured out how to get other people's voices uh, through the intercom onto the camera. So this sounds like a one-sided conversation. And it is. M most of the time it is. But uh, I can't say enough about it. Beautiful scenery, beautiful roads. Very impressive. Thanks, Richie Vita, for advising on riding in Spain. I would have probably never thought about it. Anyway, going to kick the camera off now and enjoy the ride a bit. We just uh, exited the village of Castellón de Sas, de Sas and... Uh, Still on the 260 towards Campo. Coming into a beautiful gorge now. Look at this. Oh my God. Wow. Gorgeous river down below. I hope the video is not too dark. <laughs> Here we go. I'm 
I'm riding along here with a smile on my face, literally. Yesterday was the same thing. There were just some parts of the ride that I was grinning the whole time. It's unlike me, but it's so beautiful. You can't imagine how happy it makes me to be here. I know, sounds weird, I'm goofy. Look at this. that we just came through was I don't know there's no word well, I can say amazing gorgeous stupendous uh, everything it was uh, I don't there's no word I can't even put a word to it so I'm not going to try Angus went on ahead uh, we'll catch him up in a bit So back in the last little village that we passed through, we found a store of uh, regional products, hams, breads, cheese, all that good stuff, pate, and we bought a bunch of stuff and found a beautiful little spot by the river. So we had a nice afternoon picnic in the sun. working our way towards Pamplona. We're about 80 kilometers from Pamplona. seeing uh, in one of Richie Vita's videos them riding on the N240 going along the edge of this lake so that's one reason I picked well main reason I guess even the only reason that I picked this uh, route look how pretty it is the water is amazingly blue NA2420 and uh, working 
our way in the direction of Pamplona. It's about two hours and six minutes to the hotel. But it, here it says we're going to arrive at uh, 1800 or 1755. We'll see. Well, that's because the GPS doesn't know what it's doing. I'm nabbing off the phone again. Well, we made a uh, couple of inadvertent turns and we ended up on the NA1300 and it's turned out to be a another stellar road. Beautiful. As soon as I get on a straight enough section, I'll put my glove back on. I had to take it off because I had my camera off, saving battery. of this beauty. Okay, glove back on. Feels better. Magnificent. Oh, that might be a good place to stop if it's open.
I didn't see the bar. Uh, oh well. Maybe next one. I'd sure like to find a, a stop here somewhere. It's so amazing. I love to just sit down and have a drink and see how the guys are enjoying the road. I'm pretty sure I already know. He uh, blew past us back there when we pulled off to wait and Andrew chased him down but he was just getting on the interstate so I guess we'll meet him at the hotel and now we're on a different road heading up into the mountains and just have a look at this this is beautiful Reminds me of the um, Zillertal Hohenstrasse or Zillertal High Road in Austria, a lot like this. Alright, where are these boys going? of this road is. Oh man, wouldn't I, I would just die to live in a place like this. 